In this video, I show you how you can normalize your geometry. In the process of creating the sci-fi corridor generator for Pluricide, I found this to be a potential problem. Let's assume you have a surface and you want to place an asset at the center of it. You get the center point with a primitive and a fuse node and then use a copy to points to place that asset. And as a result, you get this. The asset is way too big for this surface. Now you could just create a transform node and eyeball the correct size. But let me show you a way how the asset will fit right away. In this setup, we have the same grid and the same file. But if we set the visibility flag on the merge, you can see that the asset now fits perfectly onto the surface. We can even change the surface size at will. We could also negate the size to now have the asset on the opposite side. So how can we do that? Let's take a look at the file. This geometry is meant to be placed under a surface and it has a length of 4 Houdini units. In the first step, I bring the geometry into positive space. And you can do that by getting the min component of the bounding box by using the function getBboxMin. The resulting vector I add on top of my position. Also important to notice that I negate the min factor. In simple values, if it would contain the value minus 1, I would add 1 to my current position and thereby reach 0. After that follows the important part, the normalization of the geometry. This time we grab the max component of the bounding box. The function that we are going to use expects three vectors. These vectors allow us to translate, rotate or scale our geometry. I only need the scale for now. And I fill that vector with 1 divided by the value of the max component. In this case 4. So the result for scale should be 0.25. With that done, I can call the make transform function. It will create a transformation matrix using the given vectors. The first two integer inputs only decide the order in which these values are used. Then multiply your positions with the matrix and your geometry now is normalized. Meaning the longest component now has the value 1 and that allows us after moving the centroid back to the origin to simply scale up or down to the target size. Again, I hope you found something useful and I see you next time.